Hi, I'm Dante Greco for Bionic Buzz here at the third annual Laba Icon Awards. We've got so many great interviews with amazing people for you to check out. Make sure to subscribe to Bionic Buzz on YouTube and all social media platforms, and I'll see you on the carpet. We're here with Joey Zhao. How does it feel to be putting on the third annual Laba Icon Awards tonight? Oh, we feel excited today. But last year we do in the March 17 to 2nd the Laba Icon Awards. But this year we're postponed to September 22nd today, Friday, and exciting. Everybody see well, lots of people uh, came from Europe, from Italy, from Spain, and from China, all from local, from Chicago, from New York, lots of guests. And I uh, feel like as a founder, I'm so excited, and I hope that we have the great fun, and we'll do the very important the program the charity program we call Stand for Artists means we raise funds for our disabled artists. Thank you. We are here with Todd Williamson. Todd, how does it feel to be here tonight at the third annual Lava Icon Awards? You know, it's amazing because I was here year one post-COVID and it's come such a long way. This is such a great group of Icon awardees and the attendance is wonderful tonight. I'm very excited about it. How do you feel about everything that Lamba has accomplished and is continuing to accomplish? For a young organization, I think we've done amazing things, but there are so many more things that we're going to accomplish as we go forward. And could I ask, what are you most excited for tonight? Drinks and dinner. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are here now with Rosanna Largo Rodriguez. How does it feel to be here tonight and nominated? Wow, it's, uh, it's amazing for me. It's the best event. Uh, I am very, very happy. I am uh, very happy and thank you very much, the Princess Karen Cantor, Joe and all team of the Lava. Thank you very much. It's amazing. Could you tell us a little bit about how you came to be involved with Lava? Oh, Lava is a great team and the most important event, international organization of the art. It's very, very important for me. What inspires your work? Well, my work is about art. I am an artist, international artist, and my exhibition uh, show around the world. And especially, it's a great opportunity in, in Lava. It's very, very special for me. Well, congratulations. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much all. Thank you. Together, the most amazing people to enjoy the arts and let everybody know why we need artists on the planet. What did it mean for you last year to have your work recognized by Lava? Yeah, after 40 years to get an Icon Award was, uh, you know, somewhat, I felt well-deserved, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was still very exciting. I mean, I've not gotten an Icon Award before. I've been in books as an Icon, but I haven't actually received an award for it. So yeah, it was uh, heartfelt for sure after all the years of working really hard for people to recognize and and to appreciate the work that I put out there on the planet for us. You've had such a long and impressive career. Where do you continue to draw inspiration from? Wow, uh, pretty much everywhere. I mean, it's, it's sort of an endless amount of ideas that an artist gets in their head. And I think the hardest part is picking which one you're actually going to you know, pull, you know, execute on and, and make it happen. So, um, yeah, I've got, I've got a very secret one I'm working on right now. So uh, I, I think tonight we might disclose who, who it's with. So super excited about that one. Well, congratulations on being a presenter and, uh, you know, whoever gets you is very lucky. Uh, thank you so much. Once again, have a great night, everybody. Thank you. We are here with Douglas Ivanovich, producer of the Laba Icon Awards. Is that correct? One of the producers, and I'm a director and a judge also. Tell us a little bit about what goes into all of that. Well, there are artists that are nominated from around the world, and it's not for a piece of art or work. It's really for a lifetime of work. So we look at the lives of artists that have made extraordinary contributions that have a substantial body of work. Uh, they get nominated. We look at those. Our committee looks at them. 
and um, you know we vote. Basically, it's a democratic process, and uh, wherever we have the majority, that's the person who wins. You know, in this case, uh, the third annual um, LABA Icon Award. So, how do you feel about how far LABA has come? It's actually come a long way, quickly, very quickly. I've been in the um, entertainment production uh, industry um, probably for about 35 years. And uh, so I see a lot of organizations that come, whether they're media companies or uh, creative people or people working in the arts or in the humanitarian sectors. Very rarely do you see anything that moves along as quickly as this. It's almost like it has a destiny and it's keeping its appointment. And as someone so heavily involved with putting the event on, are you going to be able to enjoy yourself tonight or is it going to be all work? Well, I get to sit down and uh, turn it over to most of the others, you know, so yeah, I get to enjoy it. Fantastic. So. Well, congratulations. This is a fantastic event and organization. Thank you. You'll be, you'll be hearing from us in the future. Thank you. We're here with Xiao Jing Hu. Yes. Celebrity restaurateur yes. uh, and Icon Award nominee tonight. How does it feel to be here at the third annual Laba Icon Awards? I feel so excited, very excited. And I know this is very important to our communities. Uh, I'm a chef and I'm a restaurant. I'm a chef and founder of Lao Sichuan Group. Also, I'm a founder and a president of Yuan China Restaurant Lines. Uh, today, I'm here, but this very important award not only belongs to me, it belongs to our entire uh, community communities. And I, I was very surprised and very honored uh, to be lamed uh, this time. And I think this is the first time the lamed the sh chef, including in this award. That's fantastic, unprecedented. Could I ask, what inspires you in your work? Okay, in my work, I think culinary is like a uh, science, arts, and the cultures. So that's my job uh, to promoting Chinese culinary cultures outside of China. And uh, I want to uh, build a bridge between food and the cultures and, uh, and all the uh, friends you like together. Are you excited to try the dinner tonight? Of course, why not? <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I'm sure you will love my food. Uh, I, I'm the first chef who make it very authentic a Sichuan cuisine outside of China in Chicago. We make it, we enjoy the one style for one dishes, a hundred dishes, have hundred different flavors. Totally different from chopsticks, totally different from American like Chinese food. We make it very authentic, it's culture. Where can people go if they want to find out more about your restaurant? You can go to Laos, www.laosichuanusa.com. Uh, we have a restaurant in Chicago, and uh, Washington DC, Minnesota, Houston, and different locations. Come to me looking for me. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you very much. We are here with Chris Mann, nominee tonight at the LABA Icon Awards. How does it feel to have your work recognized? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, thanks for asking. I'm gonna, who do I gotta push over to get this award tonight is the question. I don't know, I'm gonna get it one way or the other. I'll snatch it. Is it bad luck to ask if you prepared a speech? No. And no, I didn't. <laughs> I have no idea. Do I just take it and run? I'll take it to the bar afterwards? I'm not sure. You know, uh, maybe a cliche question, but where do you draw inspiration for your work? Well, my, my background is in classical music, classical singing, uh, but I moved to LA as a, as a recording artist on major labels. And, but what has changed in my career happened during the pandemic when, I, when everything went away and I started making musical parodies. So I was sort of drawing from like the insanity and the scare factor of what we all were going through and then putting them into music and comedy. And that's really what blew up all over. They got 600 million views. So I would say my inspiration has changed from like trying to eh, say what I thought people wanted to hear from me to saying what actually I f was really feeling, what I was actually going through. And then I found that that was how I was connecting the best with my audience. So I think my inspiration just comes from what I'm actually living. Authenticity is very important. It is tough in this town, but you know, I'm too old and tired now to not be authentic or try to be anyway. Could you tell the audience what was your biggest video if they want to search and see? 
I would say the most popular one was the Hello from the Inside, the Adele one, where I'm smushing my face all over the screen. Um, that was big. Of course, the classic My Corona, which kicked it off, singing about the lack of toilet paper. I have a degree from Vanderbilt, and yet that's probably going to be on my tombstone. So um, th you could start there. It's a rabbit hole, scary rabbit hole. And if I could just ask, what are you most excited for coming up in your future? Um, I have a new album I'm working on of not parody music. It's going to be really cool. Um, I'm in season three of The Morning Show on Apple with Jennifer An Jennifer Aniston, so that was an amazing opportunity to, to work with her. So new music, that's always the big one. I'm trying to get more sleep. I have two toddlers at home. Love it. That's well, my main goal. <laughs> congratulations on being a nominee. I hope you take it home. Oh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Okay, we are here with the fabulous Zara Sun at the third annual Lava Icon Awards. How do you feel being here tonight? Well, each year is kind of fantastic. Uh, many surprises and many exciting news just coming up and meet more people around the world. Um, well, it's wonderful, fantastic. How do you feel that LABA has grown since last year's ceremony? Well, it's uh, obviously more international uh, people East and the West and the Europe and also Africa and uh, also Indonesia and you know it's more and more global so I'm so happy to see that. What would you say is your greatest joy that comes from being involved with LAVA? Well, as you know, I'm the trustee of the uh, Bowers Museum, so we see many artists and also we do exhibitions, uh, uh, cooperation with other museums like the British Museum. So, and of course, and then as a trustee and governors of the uh, Bowers, and I can see more and more vibrant you know, passions among the artists. That's wonderful. Well, congratulations on another fantastic awards, another event. Anything in particular you're looking forward to tonight? Oh, well, I noticed uh, this year we have more uh, handsome ladies, no, handsome gentlemen and beautiful ladies, and of course, talented artists. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, have a great night. We're here with Cynthia Penna, Congratulations. How does it feel to be here tonight at the third annual LABA Icon Awards? Thank you very much. And I am very uh, proud and honored to get this uh, award. And I want to thank everybody who believed in me and gave me the, the award. Where do you draw inspiration from in your work? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, by my passion for the arts, and uh, we, uh, me and my husband, we are also collectors of contemporary art. And so at a certain point of our life, we decided to uh, put up, a, create a, a cultural institution devoted to the international exchanges, uh, mostly between Italy, uh, California and Japan. And so we started uh, almost 20 years ago to uh, go on with this association. And now we are here after almost 20 years of work with this award that is the icing on the cake for me uh, of all my, my work that I have done for all this long uh, period. And this is the second life, uh, is a second chance, a second life, a second job for me uh, in my life. It's so great. You know, it's so important to continue spreading the arts around the world. Yeah, this is the most important thing to spread the arts and to spread the culture because nowadays we need a lot of culture spreading in to the young generations because through culture we can tear down barriers of any kind, religious, uh, race, racial, uh, gender uh, barriers, social and political uh, barriers, and we can build up a better world to live in. And it is only through culture and art is an important uh, main mean to, to achieve this. Beautiful. Well, congratulations and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're here with Michael Warren, the legendary, and you are a nominee tonight for a LABA Icon Award. How does it feel to be here? Phenomenal. Uh, 
it's something that I never could have predicted, definitely never expected it. And when I was told, I was like flabbergasted, almost like, are, are, you, are you sure you got the right Michael Warren, you know? And um, so to be here and, and, and just to be nominated, I'm, I know it's a cliche, but for me, being in a field that I'm not familiar with, uh, being a photographic artist, it's, um, it's, it's pretty special. And then I have my wife here who's, who's never really been a part of any of this kind of thing. And, and then I have my, my son and, and daughter-in-law also here tonight. Makes it even more special. Well, it's nice to be recognized for your work and it's well-deserved, absolutely. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that. And, and if you want to buy some, I'd be... <laughs> I'm always working, you know, but no, but, but um, it, it's something that, that kind of came out of the blue, you know, I, I never expected to be a photographic artist. If you asked me when I was doing Hill Street, for instance, you know, I was always interested in photography, but not on the, the art scale of it. And um, so it's been a real blessing. What inspires you in the field of photography? What inspires your work? Well, I, I love colors once, once you know, for, for one, and, um, and and I'll take pictures of anything. My, a lot of my work is before and after. So you'll look at a before picture, and then you look at the act after, and there's no resemblance in some instances, you know. And so um, everything and anything, is, you know, it, it, it inspires me. I was out at an art store getting a the picture that they're going to be au uh, auctioning out tonight. And it had rained. And I saw all these puddles of, of water on the ground with some different colors. And at the, at the edge were, were these like fall colored leaves, you know, and that inspired me to create something that's abstract. And so my inspiration comes from above first and foremost, because that's how it all started. And then, you know, just whatever I see. I love it. You know, as you become more involved in it, I, I, I've got to ask, what do you think about this um, emergence of AI art and, you know, like photography, art, all that kind of stuff? Well, obviously, it's, uh, as an actor, it's very scary, you know, and um, because we can be replaced by an image that looked like us, talked like us, and it's one of the main reasons why we're on strike, you know, and, and uh, it's an area that management as always said, going back when I was on Hill Street back in the 80s, we struck in 83. And the reason why we struck then was because of the VHS tapes, right? And management then said, well, we don't know where this is going, you know, so we can't quantify what it's worth, but we know how many millions of dollars they spend doing research on different things. And so we're faced with the same element now where they're saying, well, we don't know what this, how, how this is going to impact the business, so therefore, how do we quantify it? Quantify it. And so it, it's, it's worth going out on strike for, and, uh, and hopefully we win. Absolutely. Well, if people are interested in looking at or even acquiring some of your uh, photography, where should they go? Well, a couple of places. I have a, a website, www photo michael warren photo and then on instagram uh michael warren photo fantasy and of course fa uh, facebook with michael warren excellent congratulations thank enjoy you. your evening appreciate thank it very much thank you. okay we are here with julie shen tell us about your involvement with the third annual lava icon awards sure Hello everyone, I'm Judy Shen with the M3 GMK Modern Media Academy. Today I got uh, invited by Joey Zhou. Lapa is the chairman, I think he is. And also he's my Japanese big brand, the fashion show, with the other model, about six models. They were the new full collection for 2023 Masaki outfit. And also, I'm with the M3 JMK Modeling Media Academy. I'm the show director, and also I'm the CEO of this the Modeling Academy. And I wish everybody like our show and also enjoy the evening. Have the successful event tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. You too.